Now, some of you might think that I'm cruel for making this challenge. Am I dead yet? Is it over yet? I present them the possibility to start to redeem their descendants. At this very critical moment, man is choosing up or down. Sort of the same way that the planets split apart. That's why the Romans and the Greeks, and the, you know, the, the Greco-Roman mythology includes deities that are named after planets. They understand these ideas you know, thoroughly. And they lead those that don't. If the wise man is the closest thing to the higher man in their cultures, then the unwise person is closer to the animals. And I do think that this is about right. So let's talk about manhood rituals, shall we? The shield of Amazul. Okay, what is the moral of the story of Shaka Zulu in the movies and in history? Okay, Amazul, right? A M A Z A I L. Okay. Well, it shows us that one of the key morals is that manhood rituals helps us define who we are. He rejected their ritual and went off on its own, his own, and conquered them. As I reject mankind's rituals and and forced views and religions and spiritual paths and new age and so on and so forth. Okay, and all all scientific paths as well. And I conquer them spiritually, breaking off on my own. So these things teach us focus, determination, righteous indignation, dedication, the meaning of honor, virtue, loyalty, right? Who we listen to, and so on and so forth, and other principles of martial arts that I go on and on about. The purpose of what they're doing, uh, you know, in my case, was to trigger the heart, the hut, the temple, right? Obi, okay? To trigger the man, Obi, in me. The Templar lobe seizure right templar you know the temple right the templar lobe seizure right l obi right lobe seize yours i've gone over this before so to trigger the man in me that is trying to uh, get him to try to seize his rightful place and the idea is to scream me out the you know, fight or flight response right take flight in what form or fashion take flight on the enemy as we attack them fly away or both Obelisk, O B L I S K, to kill him. Uh, the eyes, you know, the perspective, the, the sight of him, and so on and so forth. O B O S K, right? K C O O B. It's right there in the mysteries and the, the spelling and so on, it's interchangeable vowels and so on. Honorable, hone your able, right? You're able, why? Because you follow, you listen to he who is honorable, right? Not the bull that covers the light, but the guy who has who's honed and has no ill gotten gains who can lead you. It's kind of like the idea where they sacrificed a virgin, right? If there was no virgin, would the, ma would the ritual still have the same significance and importance? And so it is with one's ability to connect to God. I've thoroughly covered the angles on this one. Make the cut, right? Dull senses, less pain. If you hone your senses with drugs, is it the same thing? No. If you dull your senses so you feel less pain and you can sense the Lord less and you, you, you become a fighter or something, is it the same thing? No. If you deal in illusions and tricking senses and you've cultivated that, is it the same thing? No. The rock, which they build the church, right? Rocking back and forth, right? What is it called? Lateral movements, I believe. Um, and again, my purpose isn't to mock. It isn't to brag. This is the end. You know, I am the messenger of God, the hawk, the messenger of God. They are the eagle, the messenger of Zeus, the rapist, the rape culture. Are you going to follow the hawk? The falcon, rather? Or are you going to follow the eagle? The e-goal. Okay. Gullible comes to mind. Gall comes to mind. Hammer to forge, right? Ham or ram a, right? The bull and the ram. To forge for G or for A. For God, right? For O. The ebo, right? The bow versus the spear. Okay, bow is part of the word bowl. The bowl that covers the light. So it is the spear, not the arrow. And who, who is the arrow? Artemis, right? Art e miss. An archer. Cupid, an archer. Little bitch. Eros, an archer, a bitch. You know, he's compared to Cupid. Diana. Anna is the ebo, Mother Earth, basically. And to shed blood unfairly is a disgrace. So if you are shedding blood unfairly, the blood of the righteous, and there's no righteous around to make it right, how can you then make it right? And even if there were, how could you make it right? How far could you go to the point where there are still righteous people around and you can't make it right to them? Certainly there is a point of no return, just like there's a point on the top of the pyramid. 
which is also the, the triangle, which is also an arrow, the capstone. To turn to stone versus to rock. The spirit versus the flesh. Speaking of that, horny, right? Horn, ray, horn, eye, okay? Uh, hone, ray, right? Desire, days, eye, ra, versus days, your e, right? You're in a daze. Jeb, said to be the earth father of Egypt, right? Bag, right? Uh, in terms of but, e, b, to be the e. Think of the moral of the story. Should we blame your people? Be lame? Were they lame? Okay. Uh, were they receptive? Right? They follow the story to store the E. Did they store the E for generations? And then when there is no righteous A around, when no one can claim no ill-gotten gains, when they followed the E at this critical point, can we then blame them? I'm even going to go as far as to prove that it doesn't even matter so much if I am who I say that I am in terms of being sprung naturally, but rather, you know, I am the one who has been allowed to rise with no ill-gotten gains. Look at my father's history, how he worked his way up. Okay, we see so few ill-gotten gains. He is the blameless one. He came from Nigeria as one of the top students. Okay, uh, if not the top student, worked his way up to become a brain surgeon. So even if he stumbled here and there on the way there, so what? They were denying him his natural and rightful place. And he stored A to the point where he brought me forth. Where are the other parents that can say the same thing? Why don't they challenge people publicly on YouTube? Why didn't they rise up? I've overkilled this point in my key points to why, as to why I'm the top martial arts. So let's look at the word figurative, right? Flesh, right? Figure A, I, Vi, right? The flesh is what they're referring to, the figure. They haven't figured it out on the highest level. And so I went over the how people uh, are sheep and their secret society representatives represent them, right? They're basically animals if they can't transcend and they're being represented by secret society people who define their culture and they're following it. No servant can be greater. And they all have the Bible and, and countless other angles to work to figure it out. This is not uh, being the top martial artist here. They all should have seen it my way and they all should have submitted to the spirit of God through me in the divine order. So we look at why was I Digo chosen, right? Was it nature? Was it the Catholic Church choosing? Was it both? Was it destiny? Whether or he was allowed to be king for the wrong reasons or not, uh, it is sealed after I die. It, it doesn't so much matter because the bottom line is I am the only one who naturally emerged with no ill-gotten gains. I am the closest thing to a divine order. After me, it's only less than, there's no greater than, and it's not enough because they didn't stand with, they didn't search for, they weren't called for. The survivor's blood on the ground, Anna, Earth Mother, the blood is offensive, right? Diana versus Di Anna, right? Diana, and Anna is the receptive to the sun. Diana is saying, die, Anna, no more Mother Earth who's receptive to the Spirit of God, but just the raped harlot that helps the rape culture and brings in a child who is a product of the rape culture and not a product of the divine union in the divine order. So then, therefore, women must be seen as harlots, the whore that let, right? Whore let, harlot. Unworthy vessels, there can be no change. Even a return to nature cannot change them at that point. That's why soul is a play on word for seal. Empty vessels cannot bring forth righteousness. It's more than just, it's not just, it's not this idea that, oh, this is crazy idea. No, it is logic, right? If you kill all the Native Americans and you take their land, for example, can you then say, we, we have now made it right to them? No, you've killed them off. And so it is with the children of God in the divine order who answer the call, my call, they answer the call to serve the Lord. Certainly at this critical juncture of mind control, it could be no other way. Even their own story, right? Their own story reasons it so. If the Pharaoh's reproductive cycle is interrupted, the whole world order would collapse, okay? The sun was made to stop by thought, thought, right? Made the sun stop, taught, and thought, do the math, okay? Until the Pharaoh, the young Pharaoh was healed. They understood very well that once I was gone, 
and there was, and, and I didn't have a child, that it would be over. Athena, Aten, Aten A, right? She is the one who rises from Zeus's belly when Hephaestus, also known as Vulcan, splits his head open with an axe. A-X-E, the bowl that is the chi of the E, okay? And who, and who is he the god of? He's the god of uh, fire, metalworking, right? Meddling and metalling, right? It may as well be the same word. Fire, metal working, forges, carpenter, craftsmen, artisans, sculptors, um, metallurgy, and volcanoes. People have shown a willingness to serve them, right? A willingness, a well in. Okay, they're willing. Well in ease. They're willing to serve the E and to return to the earth. Unfortunately, you know, I, I am the messenger, right? I am not God. But symbolically, when we say Jesus is God, right? Symbolically, if the God had a son, which I am completely convinced he does and I am him, right? Obviously, I come from my dad and my mother, but the spirit of God is what really brought me forth to be the last capstone. The stone the builder rejected. The point of no return, the point of conveyance, the point of receptivity to the Lord. They must receive that same spirit through me. So, in other words, if God was here playing the role of somebody serving him, okay, he would be treated like this by people who are concerned with having children and surviving. Should those children then be allowed to connect to God? After generations of benefiting from this betrayal, should their descendants be? That is the question at hand. I have 99% shown you why it is wrong to think that that's possible. By the time I get the next video, I will finish the last 1%. And um, ultimately, I'm assured that I'm right. But I'm also drugged and confused. So I will also give them a chance to testify on their behalf. And I assure you, there's already one half point working against him that Set will testify against himself. He will not be able to answer. And just like with my challenge, it doesn't matter if they accept or if they don't. They need to answer. Period. With two point something billion Christians, they need to answer. With all the Hindus and the Buddhists, they need to answer. With over a billion Muslims going on two billion, they need to answer. With the Jews claiming to be the chosen people, my goodness, man, they need to answer. And if they cannot, silence will be scored against them. Thank you.